Greetings fellow guitar travellers, it's Rowan J Parker here and welcome to part 3 of Fusion Essentials Outside Improvisation Melodic Minor Superimposition. Oh yeah, now this week we're going to be looking at E flat Melodic Minor over our static A minor 6 chord. Should be a lot of fun, but before we do that I encourage you to have a look at the website www.rowanjparker.com Just go and look at the site, subscribe, buy things if you like, hit me up for Skype lessons as well, you can follow me on Soundcloud and Twitter and Facebook if you like. Anywho, on with the lesson, enough of this mints. Okay, let's examine candidate number three, which is E flat melodic minor. Alrighty, now, E flat melodic minor is this one. What notes do we have? We have E flat, F, G flat, A flat, B flat, C, D, and E flat. Now, on the face of it, this just seems a massively out thing to play, and you're right, it is a massively out thing to play. But nevertheless, let's just keep doing what we do before, analyse all the notes in the scale against the chord, just to see what sort of sound we have. So, first of all, we have E flat, which in relationship to the A minor chord, is the flat fifth. So we right away we have the flat five. And then we have the F note in harmonically, E sharp, it's the sharp and fifth again. So we've got the same two intervals we had in the previous melodic minor scale. And then we have G flat. Now G flat is in harmonically F sharp, so that is the, the major six. That's our Dorian six if you like. So that's somewhat, somewhat in the six is okay. So far so good. Then we've got A flat. Now what relationship is this to the chord? If we spell it in harmonically G sharp, then we should be apparent that it is the major seventh of the A minor chord. Alrighty, and then we have a very controversial note, we've got the B flat. Now in relationship to the chord, this is the flat nine. Now that sounds kind of ugly, doesn't it? The flat nine dissonance needs very careful handling, but it is a very, very nice sound when you get used to it. And if you're familiar with major scale modes, you play the flat nine in Phrygian sounds. Very common in Phrygian and in Phrygian dominant, so if you're used to those sounds, the flat nine shouldn't be so alien, but on a straight minor chord, admittedly, it's quite a hard dissonance, but that's what makes it cool. All right, so there we have our uh, B flat, flat nine, and then the C, well, thank goodness, that's a chord tone, that'll be the flat third, and then we have D, fourth or eleventh, and then back to E flat, it's a flat five. So the effect of playing this scale, even though it seems wildly, wildly wrong and out to play, is to create the following sounds, is to create flat five and sharp five and flat nine, okay? And all the other notes are, are chord tones or acceptable color tones. So that's the effect of doing this particular scale on top of our A minor chord, to create the sound of an A minor chord with alterations to the fifth and the flat nine as well. Okay, so I hope that's clear enough. That's the reason it works. It is admittedly quite an outside sound. So let's now move to a short demonstration of E flat melodic minor improvisation over our A minor chord. Okay, let's do that. Okay, here we are with E flat melodic minor over our A minor six chord. Again, we're going to sustain the notes of the scale against the chord so we can see what sort of degrees we have and appreciate the consonants or mostly, in this case, dissonance. I um, should say this one is pretty out, so buckle up for some serious dissonance. Here we go. Here's the first note, E flat. So that's out right away because that's a flat fifth. Now the next note. That's the sharp and fifth or flat six, again quite out sounding. Then we have G flat, which is in harmonically F sharp. That's the major six. So that's almost in, then it's in. And then this note, A flat, in harmonically G sharp, which is our major seven. And then we've got the uh, B flat, which is very out. That is the flat ninth, that you probably hear that against the chord, it's very dissonant. Ouch! But we can make it work with careful handling. Then the next note is C, which is the flat third. Thank God for small mercies, this will be a chord tone, it's the flat third. And then we have D, fourth or eleventh, that's nice. And then back to our E flat or flat five. So, the problem here is we've got flat 5, sharp 5 and problematically flat 9, alright? But anyway, let's see what we can do with this bad boy, see so if we can make it work, here we go.
careful handling and you can see a little bit of chromaticism starting to creep into my lines to possibly just smooth over some of the really hard edges of the dissonance but if you go for it very strongly very clearly it will actually sound pretty good so there we go there's the E flat melodic minor just got the last one to do now which is G flat holy god help me help me here we go Okay, that wraps up for episode three. So, so far we've covered A melodic, C melodic, and E flat melodic minor all over our static minor chord. Tune in next week for the mother of all battles of dissonance, which is G flat melodic minor. Till then, farewell.